Okay. This is how you're going to convert to the new image. First, you're going to open up Putty and you are going to enter your IP address or you should be able to enter a3dp.local but hopefully you just know your IP address, that's the best way to do it. The password is going to be a3dp if you're on the new image, if you're on the old one it's going to be raspberry unless you changed it. So you're going to change cd Clipper underscore config. Then you're going to go JIT clone, and you're going to enter the address for the repo, which is going to be in the post that is linked with this video. Once that is done, you can close and you'll see the components folder in here so you know that you're good. Then you're going to go into moonraker.conm and same thing, you are going to take the information that you need to add and come right underneath here, update manager, client main cell and you were going to paste in the new update information you're going to restart so you're not going to see it yet you have to click check for updates and there you go the components has appeared now your next step is to open up your printer config or if you have sent me your information, I already will have made one for you. So you can literally just control C, copy, or if you're on Mac, whatever, to copy, and then come up here and paste it over all your stuff. So now, if you aren't in that situation, what you're going to do is select everything and cut it open up notepad paste it in now come to the top now go to patron configs and I'm going to config and go to example, print config list with all options. And what you're going to do is you're going to start choosing all your options. So I have MCU head and canvas UID. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to paste it in. My MCU serial. Next is the resin accessory there. So now web UI macros, I'm going to choose my printer size and I'm going to comment out that anything with these hashtags here is something that needs to be selected so you need to pick one of these groups so next is select the features you would like so once again you're going to pick this is guaranteed needed, so I'm going to turn on 400, but I actually have Oh no, I don't have optical and stuff in this one. i got to make one for one of my three goes the optical and stuff. And I'm using Dice the Mister with a DDE. I'm not using a runout sensor. I have a chamber thermistor, so I'm going to turn on use this one. 
and I want time lapse. So I'm going to do that one. Now what you're going to do, you want to get all your custom stuff. So you're going to come down here and take your safe config, copy that, and you are going to paste it in over the safe config that's here. And make sure that it has control PID under heater bed and extruder. If it doesn't, add that or take the ones from the example config and put them there. So this is a standard setup and it's done. Now I also have something else that I have to do because I have 0.9 steppers. So I'm going to have to make a setup for the 0.9 steppers, but what you can do for now, anything that you want custom or that you need to make different, you simply copy well I already have it set for the tool board but you, anything that you want you can copy out and put in this main file and it will override the original one so you still have the ability to define things and it will override even if you have it on in the other one which obviously I don't uh, you know I can shut off the components here because I just put them all in but I think I'm going to add a components for the point nine steppers because that is becoming a more common mod but, like I said, you can add anything you need to. So then at this point, copy everything here. You can either save it or not save it. I'm not saving it because I want the example config for you guys. Go back up and paste over. Save and restart. There you go. Now let's try to home. That is successful conversion. And um, I got a lot of film there, so I can't even start a print. But anyway, that is a full conversion. And it, actually, the temperatures should be way more solid now with the new settings. And also, pressure advantage should work a lot better. Sean Finnell actually showed me a, uh, a new setting that he found. So now the clipper needs it to be within one degree for it to start to print. So it overshot by 1.7, which is pretty normal. By now it'll be finishing, it'll be tramming, home, whatever, all that bullshit. As soon as it got to temperature, 
and then it wouldn't even have finished tramming yet and it would be able to start the frame right now and then as it settles to 200 you should notice no squigglies That is rock solid temperature. If anyone has any questions, you know, just comment, let me know. Hopefully this is pretty straightforward and you guys end up liking the image. It's gonna make it a lot easier for me to add more stuff in the future and I'm working on trying to make videos get better.